Hello and welcome to video number three. We're going to be talking about different cloud services, different SMTP services that are available to you. And the ones that I recommend, I've heard great things about, I've tried them out, I use MailJet.com, but this gives you some options that you can actually take. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've hopped on over to my internet browser here. Before I discuss the different services that are available to you, I do want to clarify a few things. Now, you're going to notice that there's a lot of different wordage and jargons here, like SMTP, cloud email delivery, and so forth and so forth. Now, all of this is pretty much the same thing. SMTP, cloud email, and so forth all deal with sending email through an email system to your subscribers. Now I do want to mention that to make good use of SMTP you can either send email directly through the service, the email service, if they have that option. I know MailJet.com has that option but some of these services do not have that option. If they do not have that option, then you're going to need to have some sort of script that sits on your website. Now, you know how I recommended not to go with web hosted scripts in the previous email. That was because if you just use whatever they give you, then your deliverability rates will actually decrease. But if you combine the power of a web hosted script, with an SMTP service and you integrate that with let's say ReachMail, ElasticEmail.com, SendGrid, or MailJet, you can actually get away with good deliverability rates, but you have to integrate those two together. Now, this video training course is not about that. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, uh, simply because it's a little more difficult to do that. The easiest route is to use the actual service that they give you. So I wanted to give you different options like reachmail.net provides you with SMTP here. Elastic email provides you with SMTP. And as you can see, it's eight cents per 1000 emails. And you can see if you have a list of 10,000 emails, that's not a lot of money. And then we've got SendGrid here. And then of course we have MailJet.com. The reason why I recommend MailJet.com is simply because you can log in, create your campaigns, send emails out within the MailJet.com site. They also have plugins that are free and ready to use. So if you have something like WordPress, they actually have WordPress plugins that will integrate with your WordPress site. It is also compatible with Drupal, Joomla, Magneto, PrestaShop, Spip, and Dot Clear. So I wanted to make sure that you understand it, you know, understand the differences between third-party sites that give you access to SMTP and then third-party sites that not only give you access, but also give you access to the ability to email at the main site. So you don't need any fancy scripts or anything like that. So we're going to be using MailJet.com and I'm going to go quickly run you through this so you can understand how it can benefit you and your business. So as you can see here, it provides you with cloud Emailing, it improves your email deliverability rate. Uh, MailJet is made to help you with your transactional emails, like your if somebody signs up, buys your product, one of these transactional emails are automatically sent to them. And they got newsletter emails, which of course you can send out yourself. You've got plugins, which I showed you the plugins just recently. They provide you with a lot of great statistics, flexibility, quick and easy integration, which I'm going to show you how to integrate everything step by step. 
And under pricing, you'll notice that it's unbelievable. For $0 a month, you can send out 6,000 emails, a maximum of 200 a day. Of course, that's a limitation unless you have a small list. And then as you can see here, it shows you what you have access to. And I would say the biggest thing that pops out is the IP reputation engine. It increases deliverability. You also can get a dedicated IP for yourself and dynamic IP. So basically what happens is if some IP gets banned, they'll just swap out the IP. And that's for people for $74 per month. But as you know, if you go to getresponse.com and we hop on over there and we go to pricing. As you can see here, a list of 10,000 subscribers is $65 per month. But over here, you get about 120,000 emails per month. Now, this is of course subscribers, so it depends on how many times you email out. So if you can think about, okay, what is my frequency? I'm gonna email you know, every single day, or I'm gonna email you know, four or five times a month kind of thing. So frequency and the amount of subscribers, uh, depending on if you email a ton, get response might be better. Um, but just starting out, you know, instead of paying 25 or 45 dollars, you could be paying zero to 749. In fact, I am using the 749 per month plan and I can send as many emails up to 30,000. I normally don't even reach that amount and the deliverability is just wonderful. So now that you know your options, what kind of services are out there that could help you provide you with SMTP and other uh, different email services, we're going to be primarily using MailJet.com in this specific video series simply because it's easy to use, uh, it's easy to set up, and easy to get approved. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next video.